as soon as they get crispy, we turn them over to the other side. Just like that. So we're gonna let the other side get crispy and awesome, and then we we'll share it out after, all right? You know what happened when you cook too much dumpling you don't need to put it in the bin okay basically this is an old school this is back in Jamaica where I used to do before so what I did uh, this is a older dumpling and all I did because I didn't have them in my fridge I just take it I just cut it to off but what we're gonna do we're gonna go back to the whole school we're gonna fry it all right so we're not gonna call this you know what I mean, boiled fried dumpling or leftover fried dumpling or you want to call it but this is what we normally do in Jamaica it's a whole school recipe, really good so you know what I mean, even yam you can fry yam also and eat it in the morning for breakfast or uh, you can have it with some fried egg but I'm going to show you, this is a whole dumpling as you can see but what I did before and you basically cut it into half and fry it so this is the best way, look at this guys nice and lovely, so basically have a medium sized frying pan on the fire and all I gotta do is just pop a little bit of oil, probably a little bit warm still because I got my frying pan about three to four minutes on the stove now. So as I can see, a little bit probably a little bit warm. So I'm gonna just make it get hot for another two seconds. So first of all, high hot, simple. Look at that. Oh my god. That is fantastic guys. Look at that. That's a proper old school recipe, seriously. I don't know about anyone else. But this recipe, I, I do enjoy this kind of recipe. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna basically make them fry until they get crispy. Alright? So, as soon as they get crispy, we turn them over to the other side. Nice and lovely. So, basically, turn it over to the other side. See, nice and lovely and crispy. And that's what you're looking for. The kids them will love this. Just like that. So we're gonna let the other side get crispy and awesome, and then we share it up after, all right? Nice and lovely. So now this is finished, and then what we're gonna do? We're gonna just simple. Take them out like this and then I'm gonna show you what I did when I take them out like this guys they are so fantastic so I'll just basically rest them in a piece of a napkin like this look at that beautiful dumpling oh my god this is nice with some fried planting and some nice lovely so anyway that's finished so as I can see exactly what I'm talking about let's look at it over here guys can see the way it looking lovely and nice now it is finished so hopefully guys will like the recipe and subscribe to the channel leave your comments it's just fried dumpling idea after you have some make you're supposed to be at home and you cook too much dumpling sometimes the kids say mommy I don't want any dumpling what you could do you know what I mean you don't need to chuck it in the video but simple put it down for the next day and fry it like this and have it even for breakfast it's nice you know what I mean? And on a Saturday morning when you wake up and you know you're not going to go to work, you can do this. So enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments. Thank you so much for watching my cooking show. Hopefully we can come out with better recipe in the future. See you next time. Bye-bye.